How does that look? I think it looks good. Okay. What should I say? <laughs> what should <laughs> I just kidding. say? Welcome back to My Busy Kitchen. Uh, I've not done a, week, a weekly weigh-in in such a long time. Actually, because there really hasn't been much to say, uh, but I'm gonna say this. I'm up almost six and a half pounds since June. So the scale's going up just a little bit, just a little bit, but I'm not even freaking out about it because um, A, Hannah and I started a, a challenge on Facebook. We'll leave a link down below. Uh, and if you're on your phone and you're already logged into your Facebook and you can't find it, just Google um, on search on Facebook, My Busy Kitchen 100 Day Challenge 2024. We already have 650 members in there. I'm just shocked at that number. I thought I was gonna be lucky to have 100. So really excited about that. But this time of year is uh, a slippery slope for me. And the challenge doesn't necessarily have to be weight loss. It could be uh, maybe finding a side hustle. Maybe it's uh, finding a hobby or getting a different job or something like that whatever it is is you have to take action for things to actually happen I can't tell you how many years I sat at my desk and was like I hate this mm -hmm. like I hate this more than anything and yet I didn't do anything to change that in 2020 I finally did in 2020 I was able to hire Hannah so we're almost at our two-year anniversary Hannah I know that's crazy two years come up in. come up come on over yeah, it's finally cool here. Oh yeah, gosh. I know it's finally. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. I know, and the inside is soft too. Stop it. Yeah. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of hoodie pullover hoodies. I want to zip up. I like zip ups too, but okay. But yeah, that's, I, I like pullovers. That's soft. Um, but yeah, two years isn't that crazy? It is crazy. Um, and to think, and we will leave a link uh, to our Halloween. Uh, oh yeah, now that we're almost <laughs> into October. We did three YouTube videos in our Halloween costume. Why Why did we choose to, to, to... Because this one was like, oh, it's <laughs> mandatory that you dress up on Halloween, which I was like, I love Halloween, sure. But like, what we didn't take into consideration is that the things that we filmed that day were going to like, live longer it than Halloween. <laughs> yep. So for Thanksgiving, for um, <laughs> a lot of recipes during October. Yep. We, are, we in. are dressed up. She had like this clown cap on that was and like. And the funny thing too was uh, I had this whole thing of like we were gonna do this funny parody, and that was two years ago that we did that. And um, face our Instagram was having like a glitch, and our management team says don't go on Instagram today. Like yeah, and so it didn't even make any sense because we never even uh, were able to show what we had there. So yeah. that was kind of we funny. didn't even post it the same day that we were dressed up. So. Yeah. It's fine. It's all good. Uh, it was a spirit. Our video skills have gotten way, way better. Thank you, Hannah. Uh, yeah, the the graininess and the just, just awfulness of, of the OG videos. I mean, it's funny now to look back and watch them. Um, I mean, I, I don't think we thought when we filmed them that they were like spectacular by any means, but we definitely thought we were doing something. Yeah, but that's just the thing. It's like you don't have to have it all figured out to try something new. And nobody's going to be perfect mm -hmm. right out the gate. Yeah. And I think that stops a lot of people, um, and especially people who have high expectations of themselves. Yeah. You know, um, like if people will make my skinny pizza dough once and like it didn't work for me. And I was like, right. okay, well I've made like muffins before that didn't turn out, but I didn't be like, oh, that's it. I like never, no more muffins, you yeah, know. Yeah, I'm never gonna make a muffin the rest of my life. No, it's like that's when you have to pivot, and it's we're learning goals. We always say that, but we're yeah, everything goals. is always a learning curve. There's always a learning curve to everything, even if it's something that you're already good at. Yep. And you know, there's always room for improvement, and um, and there's so much information out now. Like when I think back to like mm -hmm. uh, when I was like coming up with things for like your. Um, uh, treats, you know, and oh, your school and yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's like you just had to like just make it up as you. There was like no. Yeah, now there's Pinterest, there's yeah. Facebook, there's Instagram, All the YouTube, YouTube. Videos, yeah. You can learn how to do anything. That's how I learned how to make uh, homemade pasta. I watched yeah. some grandson film his grandma making it, and I was like, oh my god, that's so amazing. Easy. Um, although I still want um, there's a new KitchenAid stand mixer out. I'm sure you've seen it. It's gone viral. It's got a really nice wooden bowl. We'll put a picture here, but. And it's, it's green. It's a dark forest green. It's the epitome of like. It's lovely. Just cottage core beauty at its finest. Do I need? I well, I do need a new KitchenAid because my other one is uh, on its last legs. Like the, it's from 1986, but yeah. the bowl doesn't stay in the. Yeah. The thing. So like, it if I like try to anymore. Uh, need bread and walk away for any second, it, the KitchenAid mixer is almost on the ground because yeah. it's like shaking off the mm -hmm. off the thing. 
So, um, but yeah, you can get that for me for Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. It's only eight hundred dollars. You know, it's okay. Fine. Um, but, but yeah, yeah so I think the other thing too that to go along with her weight gain is if you haven't followed her stories at all on Instagram or Facebook. She's also using something, it's, it's called a body analyzer, it's called the body pod, and it shows you a lot more than just that number, so she can see that even though, like, the, the weight is going up, her, like, body mass is, is going down, mm -hmm. her muscle mass, muscle mass is growing, um, fat is decreasing, so that's also helpful because I feel like when you're doing all the right things and you're, like, super motivated, and then every week, like, week after week, it's not the number that you think it should be, it, it, it it is super depressing to a point and it does become it gives less you a, motivating less motivating and it gives you anxiety because you're like well you know if I, after all this work i'm only gaining weight but to see other things that are happening that you can't tell yeah. with just that number is also motivating so it is motivating what were you gonna say um i think i already said it that i was up 0.2 this week but i don't know if i specifically said that i think i said i was up 6.2 since june doesn't mm -hmm. matter um, but you know what, I mean, could you tell if I, no, you know, no. five pounds up, six pounds up? No. So yeah. don't let that deter you. Um, I am going to up my strength training though, cause I'm only going twice a week for 30 minutes. And so, um, my, uh, trainer has opened up, he's leasing another gym Ooh. and, uh, so I might go an extra day for like an hour yeah. with him. Uh, maybe on the weekend or something oh, that'd be just fun. to like do some, uh, learn some more things. I did a new, uh, exercise. It was like almost like a cage that you step in yeah. and it had, and then we did squats on it. I don't know what it's called, but, um, I think it is called like a squat or something, squat something. Uh, but we did 55 pounds on it mm -hmm. and it was hard, but if you would have asked me like two months ago, like, can you lift that? I'd be like, no, like, I can't do that. And it makes you think too about like when you were 55 pounds heavier, you just oh. walk around with that, you know, all Absolutely. day. Absolutely. Yeah, for <clears> sure. <throat> so, but I definitely have noticed that she's been more toned. Her flexibility has increased, which is yeah. like a big one. Cause she was never really that flexible. Yeah. And my shoulder mobility is so much better. Mm -hmm. So watch out. Yeah, basically. Watch out for 2026 20, Olympics, mm -hmm. whatever I'm training for. Yeah. We don't know what it is yet, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, if you want to join our, um, there's two ways to do it. If uh, We have a private Facebook page, so whatever you want to say is going to stay within that group. Uh, She's talking about the 100-day challenge. Sorry, I jumped ahead. Thank you. And uh, if you don't have Facebook, we are also doing concurrently on my blog, and we'll leave a link down below for you, and you can just... Uh, leave comments on there and I will moderate that at least once a day. See if you need help cheerleading, uh, if you need help figuring out how to, um, get to the next thing with, you know, not or if you vague. just want, you know, other people to help motivate you Yes. and you need cheerleaders. That's yeah. That's what we're here yeah. for. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's exciting. And I can't believe there's only a hundred days left of the year. That's it's bonkers. gonna fly by so it's definitely this is we can already see based on some of the chats that people have put in the on the page the last hundred days especially when you get in the burr months seem to be where people just kind of like let loose and fly off, off the, the fly off the handle a little uh -huh. bit because of all the holidays and the parties and stuff but when you break it down over you know the days and holidays and parties and stuff that you have it's still 98% of the time you're not doing those things. Yes. So um, if you do need extra strength throughout the last 100 days, I definitely think that page will be a really big help for you. I think so um, too. Just to kind of keep you motivated through the rest of the year. I love it. I love it. And it's always nice to not feel like you have to start over on January 1st. You're yes. already just continuing with what you have going. Or starting the momentum now and pretend that this is January 1st. Yeah. The first the le first day of the last 100 days. You don't uh, need to wait for a Monday. You no. don't need to wait for the first Although of the I month. Although I did appreciate that it was on a Monday. It was really <laughs> nice that this 100 day challenge started on a Monday. That was just satisfying. Yeah. But uh, but that's just the thing. You don't, it doesn't, you can there's no perfect time to start. And you just have to start taking action in order to see change. Mm -hmm. So we're excited that uh, hopefully you join. Yes. And um, we'll see you in the next video. Have a good week. Bye.